Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate and today I'm in northern Chesterfield. More specifically, I'm off the Lux Lane corridor and we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial. This home is situated here towards the end of a cul-de-sac. As you can see, there's the end directly ahead. Really, really well maintained houses here in the neighborhood. Uh, it shows some great pride of ownership. As you can see, the grass is cut. It looks green. And uh, let's take a look and see what this beautiful home has to offer. I just left a home, uh, home inspection actually, here in Chesterfield. Uh, a nice couple is going to get a really nice house on uh, about just over half an acre, rent to own. And uh, we're really excited about that program. Uh, if you have a household income of at least 50000 and a budget for monthly rent, of at least $1,250, the rent-to-own program may be right for you. If you're not quite ready to purchase, either because of credit or life circumstances, then definitely give me a call. We've got dozens and dozens of homes available throughout the Metro Richmond area, and I'd be happy to chat with you about that. Okay, this home is not available rent-to-own. It's a regular purchase here. But here to the right, we have our formal living room. Straight ahead, we go back into the family room, and to the left, we have our formal dining room with chair rail and crown molding. Notice we have wood floors here throughout this front part of the home. So let's go on in and take a look here at this family room. Now, the home does need interior paint and carpet probably throughout. Uh, we've got a gas log fireplace here that's the focal point of this family room. Nice and bright, a lot of windows here in this house. And it is an open floor plan, as you can see, directly into the dining and the kitchen area. Okay, let's pop out back and see what we have. I really like this backyard for a couple reasons. Number one, we've got a nice oversized deck back here. This is bigger than we typically see in homes in this price range. And we've got good privacy back here in the back. There is a storage building. You may not be able to see it back there in the corner. And we've got some nice landscaping here uh, as well. Nice little... Uh, I forgot what you call those things, but they keep the sun off of you and you can hang out underneath there. We've got a little patio area here. And on our exterior, we've got a few places here on this hardboard siding that shows a little bit of evidence of some water damage, but nothing major. Okay, this home is coming in at right about $236,000. Uh, the good thing about this seller is if it doesn't bring that price, they aggressively will come down in price and match whatever the market is willing to pay. Uh, we have space right there for your dinette. And here in the kitchen, the cabinets look good. We've got a stainless a gas range, microwave, and dishwasher, which all convey. An easy way to upgrade this kitchen would simply be a nice granite or high definition laminate countertop that looks like granite. I'd probably go ahead and switch out this linoleum here in the kitchen as well. We've got a little pantry there for additional food storage and we move here into the laundry. Your washer and dryer would go there. Door here into our two car attached garage. This garage uh, not only has a pedestrian door there but we have an opener there nice and convenient on those nasty days. We have a door there leading to the backyard. This home is Fios compatible and gas water heater is your source for hot hot water. Okay, let's go on through our little hallway here. But before we do that, we have our powder room. It's right here convenient to the first floor. And that should be a, actually it's a little extra pantry space. It's not a coat closet. Uh, of course, we saw our formal dining room when we came in. We're gonna go up the stairs here. I really like the floor plan here on the second level for a couple of reasons. Number one, our four bedrooms are good sized bedrooms. We're gonna start here at this side of the house. This is a secondary bedroom. Nice ample closet there. This home was built in 1993. So in 93 they had a good idea of what a modern family is looking for as far as floor plan. And uh, this house definitely does not disappoint. This is secondary bedroom number two. We're looking out towards the front of the house right there. And as I mentioned earlier, probably carpet and paint in the second floor would be in great, great shape, ready to go. This is our bonus room. We typically get a nice big room over the garage. They did put a closet here. And a lot of people use this as either 
a common space, a media room, an office, whatever your need is for a larger space here on the second floor. Okay, and we have our hall bath, fiberglass tub shower enclosure, and our vanity there. Blue and white wallpaper is our scheme. Now on to the master. Okay, we've got good light that comes into our master. We've got three windows. We've got chair rail in here as well as a ceiling fan. And one of the things they did in this floor plan was they gave us a closet that is actually in the bathroom. That was just simply our linen closet, but I'm gonna show you the regular closet here momentarily. We've got a jetted tub here in the corner, perfect way to soak away all of those aches and pains from a hard day's work or a hard workout. I know most of you probably don't work out, but you know what I mean. We've got a nice deluxe shower head there that I won't have to provide. And of course our water closet conveniently located here in the corner. Okay, this is the walk-in closet that I just mentioned. Really convenient because what is the first thing most people do when they get out of the shower? Uh, or at least most men. I don't know what women do when they get out of the shower. Most men, they immediately go ahead and want to get dressed. So it's convenient to have that in the bathroom. In addition, what happens is it frees up an extra wall because now you don't have an extra set of doors that you cannot block in your master. So from a layout standpoint, that walk-in closet in the bathroom serves a couple of nice, nice benefits there. Okay, this one is available. If you have any questions on this or any other home in the market, once again, for purchase or for rent to own, make sure you call me. My name is Max Williams. This one's only for sale, but I can help you in dozens or hundreds of homes in the Metro Richmond area. Max Williams, 402-7788 on Facebook. I can be reached at Richmond Area Foreclosures. On YouTube, under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.